Hey everyone, Michael Lang here again with Lang Productions. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit more uh, of a tip today on my AWS vMix setup. Uh, today we're talking about sending NDI sources from one instance to another. Uh, you might want to do that for a lot of reasons. If you've got two machines in the cloud, maybe one is using doing audio, the other one is doing video. You can have two people working remotely on the same production. Um, this is going to show you how to do that. By default, you're not going to see NDI sources from other machines um, in your AWS uh, vMix setup uh, because NDI requires what's called multicast. And by default, multicast is not supported in uh, AWS data centers because it just generates too much traffic and would be a huge burden on the network infrastructure. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do that without needing multicast to, to get NDI sources between machines. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my other monitor here. If you don't have the NDI tools for Windows, you need to install those. So you go here to ndi.tv. You're going to scroll down, find NDI tools, click Learn More, and come down here and download the NDI tools package. This is Windows only. There is a Mac version, um, but it doesn't have nearly as much um, nearly as many of the applications, and it doesn't have the uh, tool that we're going to be using for this demo. But go here. You're going to have to give uh, New Tech your um, information. Give them your first name, last name, email address, and they'll send you a link to download the free NDI tools. All right, once you install that, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your Start menu and just type Access manager should be the first thing that pops up this is the ndi access manager and what this does is in the absence of multicast um, which is what basically what uh, ndi uses to auto configure and broadcast all the sources that are available on the network to your other machines we can't do that because we don't have multicast but access manager will take fill that role and basically pull in all the sources from another remote machine. So I have a second machine spun up here. Um, and what you're gonna do is go to remote sources. This is where you tell it what other machines have NDI video available that you wanna pull into your primary machine. And I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna drag this window over here because it popped up on the other machine. I wanna have, I wanna have an NDI source and I wanna tell it the private IP address of your second machine instance. So this is the private IP address it's listed right here by default on AWS instances. So I'm going to type that in. My other machine's IP is 172.31.12.26. I'm going to click OK. Now, every NDI source that's coming from that machine is going to be available in vMix shortly. You can leave this open. Now, come back over here to vMix. We're going to add an input. Click NDI. And there it is. Here's my local machine down here. And the other machine is spitting out test patterns. I'm going to choose that source, click OK. And in a few seconds, there's a little bit of latency. But within five seconds, it should pop up. And there is the NDI test pattern coming from my second instance in AWS. You're only limited by network bandwidth here. So I'm going to change these just to show you that it's live video coming from another machine. Um, but that's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, I was initially trying to make this way more complicated, but it doesn't need to be. As long as the machines are on the same subnet and you allow the traffic between them, uh, NDI Access Manager will do the trick for you. Um, happy switching. Get yourselves uh, set up with vMix in the cloud. It's hugely scalable. If you ever need help setting it up, feel free to reach out. Um, I can also help you get set up uh, and get your production in the cloud into a fully scalable remote solution. Goodbye for now.